You ever wondered why clouds are just up there? Once I found out the clouds were basically water droplets, yeah. just basically vapor. Yeah. They became extremely uninteresting to me at that okay, point. Okay, let me re let me get you more get your interest back going for it. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. I have a pocket of air and it has hu some humidity level in it. Okay. Okay. Let's say it's 50% humid. That humidity that is reported is actually a relative humidity. Okay. Okay. What that means is that is it is 50% relative to how much it could carry at that temperature. So watch, as the blob of air gets heated and rises, right. the temperature drops. Mm -hmm. Colder air can hold less humidity than warmer air. Mm -hmm. So the relative humidity goes up. Gotcha. It starts at 50 in this example, it goes to 60, then to 70, then to 80. It is ascending, 80, 90, bada bing! You reach 100%. Right. And boom, you have a cloud. That's, that's why the cloud is up there and not down here. And now, now I know how clouds are born. That's right. kind of dope, though. So suppose there's no wind and you got like, let's say, 70% humidity. All right. The sun sets, temperature drops. Air, air temperature drops. starts to cool. Right here. It drops right here. Okay. Gets to 100%. What happens? What just happened? We made a cloud. Where do where we where do we make the cloud? Right in front of me. Yeah, of course. It would be right here. Right here. Yeah. We have a new word for that kind of cloud. Do we really? Yes. What? Fog. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. It's fog. But that's fog. And that's the cloud. That's why when it's foggy, it's always a little cold. Yes. You ever notice that? Yeah, yeah, yeah.